Suge Knight's former attorney are sentenced to time served in federal cases involving fraud and still awaiting uh, other charges and state charges in relation to the uh, murder of Terry Carter. Let's get into some of the straight game. This is crazy. It's not what you dealt with, but how you play it. Remember they used to laugh at a brother Welcome back guys, welcome back It's your boy Delray Richardson, platinum artist, platinum songwriter Straight Game TV, thank you for tuning in I appreciate your time uh, Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button As it helps push the uh, content out to more potential subscribers As well as the people who have already subscribed to the channel um, Also, if you haven't subscribed yourself, please do so And tell a friend And like I always say, if you want to be one of the first people are uh, notified when I drop some of this straight game, uh, please do me a favor and hit that little bell notification right below this video. I'm going to get right into it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is breaking news in relation to uh, uh, one of the attorneys uh, uh, that were involved in uh, helping Suge Knight early on, I believe, in the, the, uh, the, uh, the murder of uh, Brother Terry Carter. May he rest in peace. And... Um, and, and this is actually sad because um, when you think about the game at overall, you know, as a lawyer, you go to school, you spend all of those years in law school to become an attorney and then to have your career um, forfeited by um, some kind of fraud allegation or better yet then conviction uh, is sad. And basically, uh, this is what happened in uh, Santa Ana, California court, basically uh, a former Attorney for rap music mogul Marion Suge Knight was sentenced Monday uh, to about three years in federal prison time. He has already served for taking one point three million dollars in stolen tax refund checks and placing false liens on a federal judge and the warden of the jail in Los Angeles. Uh, basically, um, Thaddeus Julian Culpepper, 48, pleaded guilty in the stolen IRS checks case in September and pleaded guilty uh, in the false liens case on October 5th. Uh, Culpepper admitted, admitted passing U.S. Treasury checks bearing forged endorsements and two counts of retaliation against a federal judge or federal enforcement officer by false claim. Uh, also, the U.S. District uh, Judge uh, Cormac Carney on Monday, sentenced uh, Culpepper to 37 months in federal prison because Culpepper filed a false lien against Carney. That case was assigned to U.S. District Court Judge uh, David O. Carter, who sentenced the defendant to a uh, concurrent 30-month sentence, but Culpepper, who has been out of custody from the Metropolitan Detention Center since September, will not have to serve any more any more time behind bars because he had credits from jail custody while awaiting trial in the two cases uh, basically uh, mr. Culpepper responded he said I look forward to filing a full report with the state bar Culpepper told City News uh, service after the sentence Culpepper was placed on one year of supervised release in both cases uh, basically he filed at least 17 IRS refund checks worth a total of about $1.3 million from April 2015 and, and August 2017 into his own accounts without permission, according to court records. And get this, you know, it, 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 what's, what's more crazy about that is not only like the fraud allegations, uh, but this, this right here takes the cake and, and, and Dylan, listen to this. Uh, 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 Thaddeus Culpepper is awaiting trial in Los Angeles uh, Superior Court on charges of conspiracy to commit bribery, conspiracy to commit subordination of perjury, conspiracy to commit obstruction of justice, and serving as an accessory after the fact to the 2015 killing of Terry Carter in Compton. Basically, it talks about Suge. Suge Knight pleaded no contest 
to voluntary manslaughter and Carter's killing and was sentenced to 28 years in prison, as we all know. Now, man, this is sad. You know, it's like, you know, all of the years that, that one would spend um, going to law school to become a lawyer, you know, to, you know, provide a better life for your family and um, and yourself, you know, railroaded by fraud. You know, it's really, really actually sad. And then to not only do that, but then to go in now, on the other hand, uh, involving the Terry Carter case, which I don't know what part. I mean, you know, when they charge you with something like that, you know, they usually have evidence as they had evidence in the federal case in which he pleaded guilty to. And so I just think it's unfortunate, man. Like I said, once again, you know, um, but, uh, you know, Mr. Culpepper has, you know, done his time in, in that uh, particular si situation involving the um, the uh, false liens as well as the uh, the fraudulent um, the fraud committed with the IRX uh, tax refund checks and so on and so forth. But like I said, just wanted to bring this to you. And like I said, and then, then now here comes the thing with the, uh, the Terry Carter situation, which is so unfortunate. May Terry Carter rest in peace. He's a good brother. And um, at the end of the day, when you think about this, man, it, it, when you think about it in totality, uh, they say crime doesn't pay. Oh, yeah, it might pay. But the consequences don't add up. It don't equal up to the time that you spend away from your family. You may, you know, you may get a couple of million dollars, you know, but that situation right there is basically uh, temporary because when the law catches up with you, when you do the math, uh, the time that you spend in prison will not have had equaled out to the, the crime you committed or the money that you may have stolen based on the fact that um, time is the only thing that you can't buy more of you understand what i'm saying and you know and i'm talking about on this earth as well as the time that you spent somewhere else when you could have been uh free you know doing other things you know you you can't get that time back and so um yeah yeah said uh brother uh thaddeus culpepper Shug nice a uh, former attorney basically uh a still awaiting trial uh, in, in Los Angeles Superior Court on charges of conspiracy to commit bribery, conspiracy uh, to commit subordination of perjury, conspiracy to commit obstruction of justice, and serving as a, an accessory, which is the more serious crime, serving it as an accessory after the fact to the 2015 killing of Terry Carter and Compton. Yeah, um, so yeah, like I said, I just wanted to bring you guys this, you know what I mean, straight game TV always trying to bring the news um and 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 you know like i said keep you guys informed on what's going on um but yeah Whew. yeah he, he stole a lot of money too you know what i mean 1.3 million you know what i mean from so i guess from april 2015 to to august 2017 it sounded like you know he was living the high life you know what i mean in, in regards to you know the money that he had got from those uh uh, uh fraudulent um or, or committing fraud with those uh 17 irs tax refund checks worth a total of 1.3 million yeah um you know yeah i just wanted to bring this to you guys like i said this is breaking news uh your boy delray chime in and tell me what you think about this man you know the terry carter situation may rest in peace like i said but more importantly an attorney who is accused with accessory after the fact involved in his uh his his murder your boy delray straight gang